What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Gamer Eight Seven Zero, here back with yet another banger. Um, I play Madden a little bit differently than a lot of people. I'm I'm on the paranoid side of the game when it comes to Madden and some of the things they have going on. This is a game that is obviously against just a computer. Some people say, hey, the computer, they, they, they let you play the computer because, you know, they couldn't find anybody else to match you up against or you keep winning or you keep losing or whatever the case may be and they just trying to figure out what's going on. I don't, I look at it differently. And I wonder if anybody else plays their computer games the way that I play mine. Check it out. Let me see what, what you think. Okay, so first, um, of course, they have a horrible team. They have the lowest of the low. The lowest of the low. And nothing special is about to happen. You know, they, they're going to run the ball three times. Unless you come out into in a blitz package, and sometimes they'll pull back and they will uh, they'll pass it, right? But nothing fancy here. What I usually use these games for is to see if I can make certain plays work. And those of you who have been following the channel know that I've been trying to transition to nickel three three five. And I, it's not a smooth transition, to be honest with you. It has not been a, a very smooth one. So I'm currently trying to see what I can make happen. You know, I don't know if I can make it a smoother one by staying where I was in Big Nickel or doing something different. I know that I'm not too thrilled with Nickel 335. I am very excited about it because, well, one part about it, because I actually get to see what works and what doesn't work on offense i have um deep out elite on my receivers and i've been having a difficult time just getting it to and to to animate you know most of the time it doesn't even it doesn't even uh sparkle the star doesn't so i'm like okay let me see if i can get this really going right let me see if i can really get this going but nothing spectacular really happens when you're playing a computer. Like they, I, I guess I'm still trying to figure out why they they do it. Like just, it is what it is. It is what it is. And I, I, I've had this discussion with some, some different people, right? And some people say, you know, you stupid for the way you do it. There's no way I would do it that way. And I'm like, I can't wait to show you how I how I actually end up playing these games. Um, again, nothing spectacular is going to happen with them. They just go run it three times. But it just makes me wonder, why are you running the ball? Why didn't you just quit time you got in? Why didn't you just automatically start over and give me a different opponent? Why do you have to waste all this time, right? It is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I can tell you what I do know. I can tell you what I do know for certain. Um, I'm looking forward to showing you so much. I, I promise you. this. It's funny to me, but it's not funny to the people who I tell I, that I do this to. And I'm actually showing you all what I actually do. Again, nothing spectacular. They just run the ball straight up the middle. Nothing fancy. If I was focused on trying to stop it, I wouldn't have given him any yards. Now, this was frustrating. Brian Dawkins almost, he, well, he fumbled, but he almost gave the ball back. So, with that in mind, come out. Just trying to see if I can get my my plays to animate. I mean, my, my, my outside receivers to animate and do what they need to do for me. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. I just want to see if it'll work. Just want to see if it'll work. Dak has long range dead eye on him. The receiver has deep out elite, meaning that he should be able to activate anything outside of the numbers, as long as it's a deep pass. 
Should be a match made in heaven, right? Should be. Should be. But um, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. We're getting to the end of this game. Nothing special again. They're going to run the ball three times. Boom, boom, boom. Call it a day for them. And once they're done running the ball, they're going to punt it again. Actually, I'm going to fast forward it because I don't, I don't want to waste your time. Don't want to waste your time. Nothing fancy. They're just running the ball. Just running the ball here. Now they're punting. And I want to see if I can hit for a longer pass and see what I can make happen, right? So I get the ball, Dawkins, and I catch and I run backwards because just what I felt like doing with this play. That's what I felt like doing with this play. Five seconds left in the in the quarter. In the quarter, and I just, all right, let me see what I can make happen. I see a safety over the top. I could have gone elsewhere, but I just wanted to see if somebody is close, what, what, what would he do? Okay? Pay very careful attention. The computer. The computer takes us to the, to the next screen. But watch what I do. I quit the game. <laughs> Anybody else do that? Anybody else do that? And this is the reason I do it. Okay? Um, as a person who shoots content, I, I play a lot of games strictly for content, right? Play a lot of games strictly for content. There are, there, are, there have been days where I didn't even feel like playing, but I needed the content. So I've shot, I've shot games strictly for the purpose of trying to get, you know, some content done. Okay. With that in mind, I don't necessarily want to play the toughest of opponents all the time. And I just think in my mind that I, I could be 100% wrong. But I just think in my mind that if I get a win on that game, yeah, I get like 5,800 coins. It'd be nice, right? But then I'll turn around and I'll be stuck playing the upper tier opponents. When I'm getting ready for weekend league, I do that. Like, I, I, I'll play whoever when I'm getting ready for weekend league. But if I'm just playing a game and I'm just trying to make some 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 plays or I'm just trying to run a different route or whatever the case may be, and since there is no practice mode, I don't want to play against sweats all the time. So in my twisted reality, I believe if I lose the game, it'll drop me. So I won't have to play the toughest competition and I could actually work on some different concepts. Is that weird? Does anybody else do that? I mean, I used it as a practice game. But I also took the loss so I could do other practice things. Like, I know I, a lot of people don't view it as that. Some people are like, man, you crazy. You giving up coins. I play enough games where I, I, I make up coins. Like, that that won't be a, a drastic difference. You know, that, that's not tough for me. But any, anybody else do that besides me? Or is it just me? Am I, am I being a little too paranoid? If I am... Oh well, <laughs> oh well. But yeah, that that's how I rock out with my with my uh, games against the computer. Strictly practice mode. Since we don't have practice in mud, I use it for such. And I lose, so they could possibly make me play somebody easier. Because I didn't tell you all this, but prior to this game, the two games prior to this, I beat a team. I was beating a guy. 28-0 in the first quarter. And it, the screen came up talking about some impressive performance. Wait a moment while we give your, your opponent the opportunity to concede or whatnot. And he chose to concede. Then the next game I played, the guy was having trouble loading in. And so I didn't even get to play him. So I guess that's two concessions back to back. And they're like, wait a minute, let me, let me, let's see how, just how good you are. These are the thoughts that go through my mind. Some people are like, man, they just couldn't find anybody for you to play. So they just threw the computer at you because nobody else was in your division right then or whatever the case may be. I don't know. 
don't know. What are your thoughts on it? L leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about it. And we can have a conversation back and forth about it. Uh, but that being said, though, continue to rock out with your boy. The growth of the channel has been amazing. And I thank you for I thank you all for that. I'm, I'm very much appreciative for it. Hey, if you haven't, turn on your post notifications. When we stream, we have a ton of fun in streams. Streams are a lot of fun. So you make sure that you check out at least one or two streams. Because streams go hard in here. We have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Continue to love each other. Continue to love those who love you. Continue to love those that don't love you. They need it the most. Continue to allow God to use you. That may God bless and keep each and every one of you individually and collectively. With no further ado, though, we out of this thing. Peace.